I'm gonna show you how to make cordage out of a regular soda bottle. We're working on another installment of taking everyday items and being able to turn them into survival items if needed. Or you can use them for every day. This is a great way to not only recycle, but it can also give you an edge in a survival situation if you need cordage. The tools you'll need are some decent sized washers. Usually you can find them around if you're like me. I have them you know, in toolboxes. Uh, large diameter and then a couple of small diameters. Uh, you'll need at least a uh, one and a half inch screw with nuts, and these are machine screws, and then a, a straight razor like this, a larger drill to countersink for the head on your screw, and then a smaller drill diameter to fit the screw, and a good piece of wood. You'll also need some kind of clamp to clamp it down, and a good pair of scissors also when you start to make the uh, cordage. I also have a block of wood to put under this piece of wood when I'm drilling. Also, you'll need a pencil. Now, you want a small gap in between the washers to be able to you know, run your bottle through. So, take the pencil and just outline the washers. Go ahead and drill your holes. Double check to make sure that you do have that little gap. Turn the wood over and let's drill out our countersunk. Be careful, it will get away from you. Go ahead and test, drop them in. It's not really exact, but you want it flush so you can clamp down uh, this piece of wood. Now we're just gonna take our washers Drop them on here, you want to be even, obviously. And a couple of washers on top. Go ahead and get your little nut started. Now you can put this at different levels. So wherever, however much you want for your cordage to be, that's where you can put uh, the razor. And definitely use larger screws if you want. Uh, you can adapt that to however you want to. Here I've got my razor in place. And just tighten them down with a wrench or a pair of pliers. I ended up having to add a couple of washers so I could get that bottle stabilized in between here. So you'll just want to test to fit what works for you the best. Underneath, good and flush. Here I'm going to tighten down my clamp. You need some stability right here, and of course, be careful with that razor. That's good and tight. I did some tests originally with it, and you can see the hole back here. I actually moved the hole and brought the washers closer together. Uh, you want just a little bit, and what that'll do is it'll brace the plastic. If you have too much of a gap, it tends to want to wobble, and it'll be difficult to pull through without the pieces breaking. So if you have a small piece, or just a small gap here, uh, this will allow the bottle more to turn. With the label removed, take your bottle and just cut it from the bottom. Then you can take a pair of scissors, cut the rest of it. It also helps to have a little bit of a platform for the bottle so it's not hanging off. And that way you have some stability here and then it'll sit flush on the wood. Now get a small little line started, not too wide, and this will get you through the razor. Now taking the little section you cut, put it under the razor in between the two washers, making sure that the bottle is in between the two sets of washers. Then take your needle nose pliers, 
and you can pull it through. Now putting even pressure down on the bottle but yet allowing it to turn, go ahead and pull with your needle nose pliers. And this will take a few times. The first time I did it, it took a little while to get it situated. Keeping that bottle down against the wood will help. Pull it slowly at first. And as long as you keep even pressure on the bottle, just let it turn. If you let the bottle ride up at all, it'll split like this, but we got a lot of plastic for our cordage. Now we can take standard plastic like this, this bottle, and we can just cut. And you know what? You can make cordage this way. And uh, it's going to be really uneven. And it's a real pain in the rear end, but definitely in a pinch, if you're in the field, a pair of scissors is actually better than a knife. And here we go, we've got it started. But this is so much faster, easier, and really it's almost nothing. I mean, a lot of these items are around the house, but even if you have to go buy the washers, the nuts, and even the razor, you've got less than $5 in the whole deal. This plastic is super strong. I mean, it's gonna hold up very well. In fact, you know, these, <laughs> these take a long time to biodegrade in soil. And so this is gonna be something you can use as weatherproof. It doesn't uh, retain moisture. I mean, there's just a lot of cool things about this plastic. And it only takes about five minutes to get all of this together, and I've still got more that I can do if I want to. So taking plastic bottles and turning them into tie downs and cordage, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Not too deep. Another uh, installment in the improvisation 